Binary Land by Hudson Soft was released on the Famicom in 1985, but never made it to the NES. In it, you take on the roles of two penguins named Gurin and Malone. Choose which one you want to control directly, while the other is controlled reflectively. Up or down on the D-pad will cause both of them to move accordingly, but left or right on the D-pad will cause the one you have not selected to do the opposite. To complete each stage, get both penguins to simultaneously touch either side of the caged heart at the top of the screen. Along the way, it's a good idea to get rid of webs and spiders and pick up items. If both penguins get caught in the webs, either one gets touched by an enemy other than the bird, or you run out of time, it will cost you a life. You begin the game with three lives, and there are no continues. Binary Land is completely playable without knowing any Japanese. It's also challenging, innovative, and fun. I do, however, feel that its lack of diverse enemies, abilities, music, and especially goal placement causes it to get a little stale after a while. Overall, I rate it 3 out of 5 stars. If you've already played it, how well would you rate it? Or if you haven't played it yet, do you intend to? I'd love to read all about it in the comments. Thank you for watching, liking, and sharing this video, as well as for subscribing to my channel.